first tonight, the family terrified after being targeted by a dangerous prank call. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brady Peterson. A mother watched police hold guns to the heads of her innocent teenage sons, all because someone made a bogus call to 911. Okay, TV News Watch Evans Dave Roberts live with our big story. The crime known as swatting can be potentially deadly. Saturday night in Elkhorn, Nebraska, police thought they'd be walking into a gun battle with a murderous teen. Instead, they found a shocked single mother and two terrified young men. Here's my 15 year old son who's diabetic in the middle of the street um, with guns surrounding him. Not the situation Lisa Curry ever imagined one of her boys would be in. I mean, when you have an assault rifle pointed at you, it's in innocence or unknowing or just being a teenage boy had failed to comply with any step along the way what would have happened. A family of three settled in for the night when police cruisers sent blinding streaks of light through the Elkhorn home. Responding officers considered the situation life or death. Uh, the caller stated that um, he had shot one person, was threatening to shoot several other people. Curry says police held both of her boys at gunpoint until she allowed police to search her home. Officers quickly realized they'd been duped by a swatting call. For us, it's extremely frustrating. I mean, there's calls for service all the time in the city of Omaha. And if you have all these resources for a fake call, which puts you know the resident under stress, it puts the police under stress, it uh, deprives the citizens of our services. It, it's just a waste of everyone's time. Surely there are probably kids or whoever does it that don't give a second thought because that's how they live life. In this case, they thought about it. Lisa believes an ex-boyfriend who's been harassing her for 10 months made the threat. We've been stalked, driving by our house, bottles in our driveway, um, breaking into our house. So far, police don't know where the call came from. In the aftermath, everyone involved remains angry, but thankful a potentially deadly lie didn't turn into a deadly night. We had another swatting call just last Sunday. Someone pretending to be a woman trapped by burglars in her basement. Police traced the call out of state. So far, no arrests in either case. Freddie Rob, back to you.